five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. tell you why a little bit later uh it, it was just i had so many technical problems going on here that i i, I didn't even want to uh, deal with the show I'll, I'll 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 talk about it later i need to talk about it now i'll show you one of the technical problems uh we did our interview that we always do with uh, will durst and uh, the machine that i was doing it on uh decided to attack me and as you will see in this interview, if you're watching it on our video feed, uh, he freezes. The audio's fine. So all you people who are just listening to us audio, you're fine. But to those people who are going to watch the interview, uh, uh, hold on to your seats because he freezes a lot. But that doesn't matter. It's what we talk about that's important. So rather than just let it go to waste and say, hey, it didn't work, uh, we won't play it, uh, it's pretty good stuff, so we're going to play it right now. Well, after a lot of starts and stops and everything, and uh, because of technical problems, which I can't even figure out why they existed, but, you know, you do what you say, you reboot. You know, when in doubt, reboot. There's Will Durst. Look what I got on my reboot. Turn it on and then off. Yes, <laughs> turn it on and then off. And then I tried to turn the machine off, and it wouldn't turn off. Oh, yeah, it kept it going, restarting, restarting, restarting. So I had to then hard, do a hard start, and finally we got you, and then now my camera's working again, the one that wasn't working, and uh, we're here. Did you did you exchange cameras, mm -hmm. or had you done that earlier? I had done that earlier, but now this is back to the old camera, and it's working. So this is with the little mice, and they're chipping yeah, yeah, away yeah. at the pixels and stuff? Well, you see, I only do this about twice, uh, three times a month, okay? use this machine to do this Skype thing. Ah. Uh, ah. So I, you know, whatever happened, happened before. But I have another machine here. See, this is my, it, it's like, if, if there are days when you learn that you don't touch anything <laughs> because it will break. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So I've got on my other machine, all of a sudden the internet freezes up on it about once a day. And I have to reboot the machine, and I don't know what's doing that. It's got to be some program I put in there. So I reinstalled the operating system. We'll see what happens. But that's been one problem. My wife has an iPhone that keeps going ding, ding. I'm trying to sleep. Ding, Why? ding. Uh, who knows? We, Are people sending her texts? No. Is she getting updates on the stock market? It, 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 no. None of that. Ding, ding driving me crazy and now of course you uh i have we have problems with you with me getting a, a, my video camera in skype to work the other one worked okay and 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 you said you were having trouble with your computer i was i couldn't get onto the internet for some reason i, I had charged it up all night and it opened up fine and then i yeah. i get on the internet and it just sat there for like five minutes you paid your bill I, didn't you no idea yeah you paid your bill. no idea yeah who do you use? And of course, if I didn't have an appointment with you, uh -huh. it would have gone on like that. Oh, of you know? course. Yeah. So what? Uh, what I what what ISP do you have? What cable service do you have, or internet service do you have? Uh, I think we have Xfinity, which is Comcast. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. And they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, well, I have Fios, which is pretty good too. But for some reason. Uh, you know, I keep having problems, uh, uh, you know, with the internet now, uh, and I, it could be my machine, but it, I think it's more likely something I installed recently that's that's causing the problem. Yeah, you got to turn everything off every now and then. It, well, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I put in my operating system again. We'll see maybe if that was a problem. If that's not, you know. I'm, uh, one thing after another. Who cares? It's I don't care. Always, it's always something. Well, you know, I, I think about giving up on this whole thing because I'm so sick and tired of the technical problems. 
you know. Yeah. I I'm sorry. I live from the I live in the light switch generation that wants to flip the switch and the light goes on. Okay. And Up only once on, in a while, uh, uh, once in a while, the light doesn't go on, so you switch, you change your light bulb because it probably burned out. All right, but it, 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 computers aren't that way. I don't know how people who don't know about computers like I do exist in this world because even the most simple operation, or as simple as they try to make it, is difficult for a lot of people. You know. Well, it's like cars. You know, cars got so complicated. And all I know is, you know, you put the gas in the back and the oil in the front, and then you turn the silver thing. Yeah, well, now I But get, now you don't even turn the silver I'll, thing. I'll, you just it, push the red I'll, thing. I'll rent a car. Uh, let's say I haven't driven a car in about three years now. Right. Go out and rent one. Okay? I wonder if I still know how to drive. You know, that's no. not... That's no, you know how to drive. You just don't know how to turn the car on. Well, <laughs> all of a sudden, there's like uh, you push a button to start it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, I, I don't need a key? No, because you already had a key to get in. Or you had a way to get in, so it knows you're you're supposed to be in the car, so therefore you just push start. Bing. You know. So yeah, I, I don't know about all these RFDs that we're carrying around. I don't know if they're good for us. What, RFDs? What? What's that? Radio frequency device. Oh, well, that, I'm, I'm... That's what the key is now. I'm, and that's why you can approach your car and just open the car handle, even if it's locked, because the key fob, the little key fob, is sending out a signal saying that you're okay to enter the car. Yeah. But... But it's got to be affecting us somehow, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, remember when they said sell your phones because we held them up to our head cause brain damage? Well, I don't think it's the cell phone frequencies that cause brain damage. I think it's the stuff you're doing all day long with your phone. I, I see people who never stop looking at their phone, you know. They, they're always doing something on it. And I, I think that causes a certain thing. Let's call it... Uh, iPhone brain, you know? <laughs> well, I'm convinced that's why people are getting hurt at ball games now. People never used to be, it's you right. know, they used to have a screen behind the plates, and that was it, because people were paying attention, Yeah, you know? And now, and now, oh, I got hit in the head. Well, yeah, you weren't looking at the game. The ball came right at you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but, but you're right. There seems to be a correlation between the use of iPhones and people getting hit in the head by baseballs. You know. So now we have to screen the entire area. Yeah. You know, so people who are sitting like in the first row get a tan with hash marks all over them, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just for these silly people who can't pay attention and, long enough. And, and, and actually, you want to get a hit in the head with a speeding projectile. Well, actually, you don't want to sit like down in front you, over the dugout. You want to be up a bit so you don't have that netting in front of you. I have yeah, a great I have a, I, row. I have a great protective device though for that uh, at baseball games. Yeah. Don't don't go to them. <laughs> you know. You will never be hit by a baseball. Uh, no, well actually I I could be. I don't mind going to baseball games. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the game, but I love the activity. I love the socialization of going to a baseball game, sitting with your friends, having some hot dogs, some beers, talking. Once in a while, something out in this pasture happens, <laughs> and everybody gets excited, and then it's back to talking to your friends and having some beer. And You know what I'm saying? There's a, yeah, no, there's exactly. A, there's a social saying. aspect. Now, it used to be that social aspect only cost you like $5. How much does it cost for a baseball game now? I think tomorrow's game... Uh, with at the Pac Bell uh, 18th uh, SB uh, Oracle Park, the Giants are playing the Oakland A's in the afternoon. Yeah. So it's a one o'clock game, and I think tickets are eighty five dollars. And I looked at the World Series tickets because they were thirty years ago, mm -hmm. nineteen eighty nine, mm -hmm. and the World Series tickets were fifty dollars. And that was a World Series ticket. To go to the World Series, yeah. Now it's 85 just to go see a bunch of guys. On a, went, travel. a Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, uh, travel across the bridge to come play a game. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, uh, uh, well, you know what I, I have been griping about are movies. You know, the cost of going to a movie, you, you know, we're seniors, uh, you may have noticed. Um, <laughs> so we get in at the lower price. You get in for a senior price, right? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and the day you finally realize you're getting older is the day you're willing to admit you're old enough to get a senior ticket. You know, if if, if you can get, a, if, especially if you're Jewish, if you can get a lower price on a ticket, you know. You know what pisses me off, though? Mm-hmm. Is when I ask for a senior ticket and then I reach for my wallet to show my ID and the cashier goes, no, that's okay. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, 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 so Movie. What? Movies. Movies. Oh, movies. Yeah. So, you know, uh, with a senior price, let's say I, I like to go to the 3D movies. That's the only reason to go to a movie is for the big things, the little I, things you're going to see I, on. I hate the 3D. I hate the 3D. I love the 3D. I hate the I was 3D. When I was a kid, I was a big 3D fan. I saw every 3D film that came out, and I saw some pretty shitty pictures, okay? but I, Museum. But they were 3D, right? And they were real 3D. This stuff is processed 3D. These, this wasn't shot in 3D. It wasn't shot stereoptically. Um, so, uh, uh, but I, I go to the 3D movie, and so that's a little more than it would normally be. And we're getting the senior ticket for the two of us, forty-two dollars. Holy crap! Forty-two fucking bucks. Now, Holy crap. Wait a minute, that's for the ticket. Now you go in to get the popcorn and the soda. That's another eighteen dollars. It is. Do you do you know that the box they put the popcorn in is more expensive than the popcorn itself, even in the big bucket? You know, I believe that. But that's where I mean, the popcorn well, at home. But that's where the movie companies make their profit, the theaters. Uh, and, and the reason the theaters make a profit on that is because they don't make a profit on the films. The first week that it's sitting in the theater, they don't get a penny. Okay. Second week, maybe they get like a little percentage. If it lasts like a month in there, then they start seeing some money. But where their money is made is at the concession counter. But yeah, but I got to be honest. For the first thirty-five years of my life, mm-hmm. I didn't pay a penny in concessions. For the first thirty-five, I would go to a movie. I would go to the Woolworths and get candy there. I couldn't pay those exorbitant prices when I was a kid going to the movie. I could barely get into the movie. So for the first thirty-five years of my life, yeah. I did not buy any concessions. And then I started uh, feeling a little more comfortable that I knew where a paycheck was. And then I started buying, but for the first, I wouldn't buy soda, I wouldn't buy popcorn, I wouldn't buy candy. I, I, I would I would wear big heavy jackets and bring the candy in with me. So now I, I feel like I owe it back to them. Well, you know, my feeling is, all right, if, if you want my opinion on this, that um, uh you you are spending a lot of money at that candy counter, so doing what you did is proper. But if they found out you had that candy, they would confiscate it. Uh, that's what they said. Yeah. No. If I well, let's say let's did. say I go to the theater this week, and I bring with me a bucket of popcorn. Yeah, you, you can't you can't do it in you know. Do you think they would let me in with a bucket of popcorn? They would. No, they wouldn't. No. They did confiscate my popcorn at the door. Yeah, you can't shove it in their face, but if you got it in your pocket, but there's something okay, popcorn wrong. is hard to but smuggle. But there's something in. wrong about that. I just spent forty two dollars for two tickets, okay, and now I can't bring my own popcorn. You bring a big coat and you put your popcorn in a bag <laughs> and you hide it in here and you walk in. They won't say nothing. They won't say yeah, right, right, right. But oh, and then you add to it the cab ride to the theater, which is fifteen dollars, and the cab what ride. What the cab to the movie theater for? Walk. But the theater we go to is like two or three miles away. Take an Uber. If the Uber would cost us that, maybe That's a little more. A little, maybe That's a little more. Anyway, so we spend about, let's say, twenty-five dollars on cabs. So there's twenty-five, fifteen. How much are we up to? And the and the forty two dollar ticket. It's like uh, too much money. It better be a good movie. It better blow me. Have you seen you know. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes. Did you like it? Nah. Why? What did you think? I loved it. You loved it. What did you like about it? 
every scene uh, had like an origin to it. Like every scene, like uh, when they start out with the Western, it looks like a Western from the 50s. It looks like one. Mm -hmm. It looks lived in. It looks like, yeah, I've seen that that uh, that opening credit sequence over and over and over. It looks lived in. I like the menace of Charlie Manson's family and the fact you only see him once. And it's kind of creepy. I liked uh, uh, the emotional release of the fight at the end. Because mm -hmm. uh, you hardly ever see you know, people getting murdered and the audience is laughing. <laughs> and it was it was done on a knife's edge, the balance. Yeah. Uh, I love the little the scene with the little girl in the in the movie set. Uh, and when she tells cuz no, cuz you're an actor. Well, that's I mean, a, you that's, know a, that's the, a very nice piece. That's the kind of thing I love about Tarantino. It's that kind of piece, but there wasn't a lot of that in this film. Usually his films... The scene with uh, her going to the movie to watch herself? No, I don't think that was that kind of scene. I mean, I, I go back to things like Inglorious Bastards, where you have that opening scene with the German actor. What's his name? Uh, uh, oh. Christoph Waltz. Waltz. And, 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 the, uh, and the guy. And they're sitting in the house having a discussion. I time that thing out. That thing goes almost 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what I like about... Quentin Tarantino, and he and he did a lot of that in The Hateful Eight. You know, he is always one to take out a space in time and then really do a real uh, 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 thing. You know, and um, it it's it's I don't know. I just I'm sorry. I I I, I, no, I, I hear that I, from a lot of people. I, I, a lot of I, people I, didn't like it. Didn't like it a lot. You know. So uh, anyway. Um, like it a lot, or you didn't like it a lot. Yeah. All of a sudden, my thing is saying here: encoding overloaded. Considered turning down video settings, but it does it isn't overloaded. I don't know. I give up on this. You know. I hope this is go. This is being recorded, folks, in a fine manner. Otherwise, uh, we're wasting our time. Anyway. <laughs> and then we're having a fine conversation. Oh, I just everything everything goes bad. So, you know, what can I, what can, what can I say? Uh, this thing isn't uh, set to over overload, for crying out loud, you know. Uh, there we go. There's the settings. And I go up here and I go to uh, video. And uh, the video output is currently active. Okay, fine. And uh, uh, the output uh, is fine. And it's recording at a standard rate. And I, I don't know what the thing is. I don't see. I mean, this is just the problem we keep having. But what the and my hell? computer is uh, for some reason is overloading because uh, the blower is on. And I can always tell. <laughs> the, the blower is. I mean the fan. Yeah, the blower. That's, you don't know the technical term. It's technical no. technical term is fan. Oh really? It's not called the blower. No, no. So anyway, how how can my encoding be overloading? Oh, now it says it is. Jeez, I don't understand this. I give up. I give up on all of it. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, yeah. don't give up on the technology. As well, you should say. Anyway, you know, so uh, but let's quickly, uh, let's, uh, and let's hope this all records okay. Um, uh, yeah, I wrote a column about this summer being a, a stupid summer, stupid, lousy, stinking, hot summer. Yeah. Because of all the shootings and stuff. Yeah. Um, that we're so busy giving our thoughts and prayers to, Gilroy and El Paso and Chicago and Virginia Beach and Dayton and Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. That there's not 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 even time for for theme parks and picnics and cornrows. Right. Well, it's it, it it is not a good year. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, I mean, how the Trump people can't say that he is giving these people a sense of permission. To do what they're doing is beyond me. I mean, it, it is. There's, there's a correlation. Okay, like I got a bad program going here somewhere. Uh, I will turn off a program to eliminate that as a problem. 
Well, I can't eliminate yeah. Trump as a problem for <clears throat> these actions by crazy people because he's giving a sense of permission. You know. Yeah. He actually said, though, he didn't think that his rhetoric was racist. He thought his rhetoric brought people together. Yeah. He yeah. can't actually believe that. I mean, he is right. He's bringing people together with their victims. You know. That's right. That's right. You know, so I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, it's all you know, it's, it's, it's all crazy. And, and I, I'm getting a little tired of it, you know, so. Do you think America's getting a little tired of it? I don't know if America's getting tired of it. That I don't, that I don't understand. Uh, I, I, I think we're getting, I'll tell you what we're, I'll tell you what's making us tired of it. Uh, something like MSNBC is making me tired of it. Because the same story over and over and over again. They're still pushing the same thing over and over and over again. Or if I go to Fox, it's the same thing. It's just the opposite. Okay? But uh, I, I think that we're overloaded because the media is overloading us with this stuff. And making a controversy out of everything. I mean, uh, Epstein goes out, commits suicide. Everybody's making a big deal about it. Aren't you glad the guy's dead? You know, hey, congrats. I like what he did. He killed himself. We we don't have to put up with him now, you know. But no, they oh, we want investigations, and Bill Barr wants the Justice Department to figure the whole thing out. You know, it's ridiculous. I feel, I feel the same way because of the blanket coverage. I mean, for the three days before uh, Epstein uh, committed suicide, mm -hmm. it was wall to wall. Uh, gun violence, mass shootings. You had experts on. You talked to candidates. Uh, it was wall to wall, 24 hours, yeah. just talking about. And then suddenly they switch on a dime, and it's all Epstein. And it's like that never happened. There's not even a shadow or an echo of what they were talking about before. Now it's all 24-hour Epstein. And you got people who have... You know, obviously we're booked before, and now they have to talk about Epstein. They have no opinion on it. Yeah, here's here. This is fun. This is fun. Um, Bobby Slayton. Come, Bobby Slayton is fun. Comes to New York on many an occasion for one thing or another, right? As well, he should. And he will call me and say, "I can't see you," because he always feels guilty about the fact that he's so filled up he can't see me. So he calls me to. Well, so that's, I can't, that's I, I can't see you. Yeah. And, and he always talked about the fact that he was staying in this apartment that this guy owned in this apartment house that he owned. In other words, he had an apartment where people could go and stay if they came to town. And uh, this guy was a big fan of Bobby's and always let him stay there. So Bobby never had to pay for a hotel or anything like that right. when he came to New York. Uh, uh, do you know who the guy was? No. Yes, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> so I get a, I get a, I get a text from Bobby. Uh, he's in Spain. Was in Spain doing a movie with Woody Allen. How does it make you feel about your little movie? Anyway, he was making a movie with Woody Allen, and uh, just a little part. And um, uh, he texts me and he says, uh, "Well." Epstein is dead. Uh, Epstein, no, Epstein is arrested. Okay, that was when he got arrested. He said, I guess there goes my apartment in New York. And I, I wrote him back. And he, then he called me from Spain to say, yeah, he was the guy who put me up all the time at, the, at this apartment. He's the guy who introduced me to Woody. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, so when Epstein committed suicide i texted him i am so sorry for your loss if you need a place to stay i've got a, <laughs> a guest you get a bedroom i don't have an apartment but i have a bedroom <laughs> well he immediately calls me back but he also texts back he said well i'd stay in your guest room but that means i have to have dinner with you and i don't want to do that <laughs> but anyway so epstein was this guy who he he knew he said you know Place. He said, you know, Epstein always had young girls around him, but they weren't underage. You know, um, he liked them younger, but, you know, they weren't they weren't children. You know, so what do you, you know, that that so I'm six degrees now from. Yeah, from Epstein. Yeah. No, that's only two but, degrees. But he kills himself. Yeah.
guess that's it, huh? I guess that's it. That's about all we got. Well, there wasn't much more anyway, so um, let me put myself on here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, man, I didn't know it didn't have an ending. Oh, wow, wow. Well, we got most of it. That was, we had about maybe two minutes left on that interview. But I, I had, a, you know, the reason I didn't do a show last night is because I was getting so depressed about technical issues here. All of a sudden, technical issues decided to happen. They're still happening today. I mean, they could happen at any moment now. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume that they're not going to, all right? But um, uh, it, last night, it, it, uh, what happened was I was doing the interview, and the thing was overloading. The CPU was overloading and so on and so forth. And that's what caused it to have the, the jumpy picture. And then I guess at the end, it just gave up. And you know what I found out after I finally did it and I removed something? This is what did it. This, was the thing, this is the thing I have down here on this machine, which it doesn't seem to fuck, fuck around with this machine. But this one, it was screwing it up like crazy. And, and causing all kinds of problems. So that's why we had a problem with that. I also have had a problem with this machine of mine. There is some, it's some program, okay, that's causing the problem that I'm ta that uh, it's a problem to me uh, that is uh, causing the whole machine to freeze up and not, uh, and not access the internet, okay? So I couldn't figure out why that was happening. I seem to have minimized it, although overnight I got a message saying there was some problem with, uh, I don't know, Google or something, that it might have been having a problem of one sort or another. So uh, I may still have that problem, but I am not running certain programs right now. And I'm running the this, this Stream Deck on here, which is the thing that, you know, switches, uh, switches stuff for me, you know, uh, like that, okay. And um, uh, it seems to be working all right now. Uh, and, and we'll hope that it isn't what's causing the thing to freeze up, okay? Uh, I took one other program out that I thought might be causing it to freeze up. So far, I still have uh, 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 a picture. So, you know, let me, let me see here. Do, can I reboot? Yeah, there we go. I just refresh that. Uh, that uh, so we're, we're cool. Okay, the, the lines are open. And I'm ready to talk, okay? Uh, you know, I really like doing only three nights a week, to tell you the damn truth. You may find me doing this more often than not. Uh, I was even talking to... Oh, oh, here we go. Here comes Phil. All right. Yeah, Phil Meyer is calling. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go to Phil Meyer here. And uh, let's see here. Let me, let me give Phil Meyer... Oh, well, Phil Meyer already has a space. So... Um, uh, I'll go here, and uh, here comes Jeff Stein, uh, but I don't think he has a place on here. So uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, would you turn off your audio there, Jeff, please? Thank you. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to go to source one. I got to put Jeff in there. Uh, Jeff Stein, Stein Seller, okay, there we go. Does he pop in? There we go. We can only see the top of your head, though. You don't have the uh, thing set up uh, well. Okay, let me see here. Here's uh, Char uh, Charlene is here. So uh, we, we go uh, to there. I, that's her. All right, okay, let me see here. Would you mind putting yourself in... Uh, Landscape mode, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. There we go. Well, we're, we're, we're starting to get the, the uh, a citizens panel going here. Uh, let me see here. How are you guys tonight? Hey, good. Yeah, you good? Yeah, it's hot. It's, it's real hot. I know. Damn it's, hot. It, it's cooling. Alec? It's, cool, it's cooling down here. Yeah. So, you know, we're fine. You know, yes, yes. Alex, I got, yes. I got the fan on. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what was going on. That maybe you're only going to do three nights or something. Well, I might start doing only three nights. I don't know. You know, I haven't decided. Uh -uh. You know, life's too short to be doing this four nights a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I had a lousy day yesterday, technically, and today it wasn't much better. All of a sudden, the camera you're looking at me on wasn't coming up. 
on uh, on uh, uh, this. So I I had to replug it into another thing, and finally it was working. And something overnight fucked up, and I got a, a message of a, of a you know a, a a file that would tell me what was wrong, but I couldn't figure out how to read it. So uh, you know whatever, Just one thing after another. It it seems to knock on wood, be quieting down, but, you know. But in all that, I had some good news yesterday. Uh, I went to the dentist, because I have this, this tooth back here that has a filling the size of the Panama Canal, all right? And, uh, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Here comes Charlie Wallace, so we will put Charlie in here. Let me see here. Uh, he'll be in the number four place. Oh, there he is, okay. So he already uh, is uh, is uh, in in a place of. Uh, oh, oh wait a minute. Yep. Why why don't we have anybody there? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is is, is this a um, let me let me see. I don't is exist. This, wait a minute. But there's no, uh, oh oh I see. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Oh, I've got that's the wrong one. I don't want that one. I want this one. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um. um so I, uh, uh, I had a dent. I had had this filling um, that was rather huge. Boy, where's my phone now? Oh, there's my phone. Because maybe I can show you here. I had a filling that was just huge, uh, and I'll try. And How huge was it? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> and it was really a badly done filling by my older, my other dentist, uh, who. Uh, uh, I have to admit, is not was not that great, but here I can show the audience first is the old filling. See that? What's that sign, Grand Canyon? Yeah, yeah. That's a big. Uh, it's an awfully big filling there. You see that? The dentist took that picture. Yeah, she took it before now, we did the work. How come it's it's uh, sort of low on uh, one side and the tooth is exposed? Well, it's not exposed. The tooth was just, it had a lot of filling in it. It had broken off on the end. And oh, then okay. It, it, then they, she filled it with that that gunky, you know, the, the silver stuff, which that, yeah. that's, considered, that's considered old school. And so here is how my tooth turned mm -hmm. out after this woman did her work yesterday. Oh, wow. Can you see that? Nice. Yeah, she used a composite or... Uh, yeah, uh, and, and she, yeah. she really made it... Uh, beautiful. She made it really beautiful. Uh, yeah. And, and I was worried that what was going to happen is because, uh, you know, who knows? She says, we never know what we're going to find when we dig into a tooth. Uh, and in this particular case... Uh, they, uh, they, they, she said, I don't know what's going to happen once we get rid of the filling. And she said all the decay was around the margins of the tooth and not down by the nerve. So she was able to fill it. No root canal. 69 bucks later, I'm out the door. 69 bucks. Whoa. Wait a minute. 69 bucks and about an hour and 10 minutes of having my mouth open. Yeah. How much does the uh, uh, insurance pay of, of the uh, total bill? Because uh, sixty nine was your yeah. Well, uh, uh, um, um, add uh, three times more to that, and that's probably what they pay. I paid about seventy five, twenty five percent. You know, cheap. Alex. Yeah. As I get older, now I can't keep my mouth open that long anymore. For you know, I, I have well, like oh, dry mouth. Well, are you kidding? You, you do them on the show for two when hours. When I was younger, I used to be able to keep my mouth open, but now I have to keep, like, they get mad at me because I keep, they squirt water in there for me and stuff because, uh, you know, like it, like you said, I, if they could give me gas and I'd be out, I probably would be okay. Yeah, they don't, don't like to give gas. Like they don't like to give gas anymore, and that was the only reason I ever went to a dentist in the first fucking place, you know, was to it's get a money high. maker now. I can't yeah. even tolerate that for like two, three hours having your mouth open like well, that. Well, anyway, I had my mouth open like that, and she even had a wedge she put in my mouth so, yeah, I, could just, thing. Yeah. so I could just rest it. But still, she was in there digging around and doing all the work and did about an hour and 10 minutes of work on this tooth. And uh, afterwards, uh, you know, she's masterful. I told her yesterday when she was through that, that she's the best dentist I've ever had and I'm 79 years old. And it's true. She's that good. 
And I said, the last uh, dentist you used used to use leeches. Yeah. Uh, what, <laughs> what I did, what I said to her was, and, and this was in fact the truth, I said, you're an artist. And she really is. I mean, when you think about it, what she involved in, she's involved in drilling and carpentry, but she's also involved in a kind of sculpture that you're doing to right. get this tooth back to looking like this one looked. Yeah, right. That's but, what it's like. But the, the like first picture you art. saw was the work of my old dentist, including a crack in the filling. Um, a fracture. Yeah. And, and the after picture was, of course, what this woman did, and she's just hmm. wonderful. But, man. My mouth is torn up today, you know, because she, it was back there. It was right in the back, last tooth in the back. And that's, uh, that's a, you know, that's a hard one to get to. But she and did. they got to use mirrors. Huh? They have to use mirrors to see it. Well, she uses mirrors to, you know, look and see and make sure everything's fine. But she can pretty well see the tooth when she's drilling. But first she had to get out that filling, which was massive. <coughs> and then she had to do the, you know, the decay getting rid of the decay, and then putting in this new filling. And this is, a, this is a tooth because there's so much filling in there, there's very little structure left. But I think she did it in a way that this tooth will now last for quite a while. So I'm very happy with it. And here's what she does. She says, look, she says, you've got the insurance. You've got $2,500 worth of insurance. Uh, uh, and... and uh, here, you know, you've got a thousand dollars left. We're going to do this tooth today, she said. Next, I want to do a tooth, and I don't know how this happened. She said it has a temporary crown on it. I said, "What?" She said, yeah, it has a temporary crown. And there's a little bit of decay under it, and I want to remove the crown, get rid of the decay, then put on another temporary crown, but fit you for a new crown, for a permanent crown, and that'll cost you about seven hundred dollars because the crown will cost fourteen hundred. And it's 50%. I go, okay. She says, the reason you should do it is you don't want to leave any money sitting on the table at the end of the year because it doesn't go <laughs> over to the next year. She says, and then you'll come back January 2nd, and we'll start <clears throat> going on the other, uh, another little cavity that I have, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do the, um, uh, uh, the implant. So really, I mean, she's, she's really good about that. She figures it all out so that financially so that you get the best bang for your buck. So that's why I'm having all this work done. I mean, I've had three, four fillings so far, you know. Uh, you got a dental accountant. Huh? You got a person who's a half dentist and a half accountant. Half an accountant. No, she's got somebody there who's an accountant who figures out all this stuff. But she says, you know, let's just get all this stuff done and let's not leave any money of theirs on the table. Uh, and that's about what we're going to do. They may, I may be $100 shy of tapping out, you know. And, and we'll, use that, we'll, use that for my, we'll use that for my cleaning. Yeah. I've got dental issues going on. I have two crowns. Uh -huh. And then um, I've got a thing going on that I'm all messed up. My knee, all of a sudden it went out like last week. Like, oh, my God, I'm suffering so much with this knee. Like, I had to go to the um, Medi Express thing because like, I didn't want to go to the emergency room with yeah. parking and everything. Mm -hmm. So they did the x-ray, and then they told me, well, you got to go to, like, uh, your primary care, and he's going to send you for an MRI. So I go to my primary you know, care. I'm taking my he hand can't off. Send me. Yeah, he can't send me. Yeah. So then he tells me, go to orthopedics so I go to them and then everyone's telling me I have bad insurance change my insurance that I've got to wait now for prior authorization mm. and, like I got to wait like maybe like maybe 10 days now and I can't like oh my god it hurts and I can't I'm limping all over Where, like is it, is, wait, wait, have, let like, me ask limps. you is, is it in your knee yes and they said it could be meniscus yeah, the, but they yeah, don't know I, it's probably a torn yeah. meniscus that's what I had Oh, it's awful. Yeah, it I mean, just. Everybody uh, I is like I did a I did physical therapy. I did physical therapy, and with time, it you know I had to be very careful not to bend the knee or get into bed in a certain way that would bend it, and eventually it it's pretty well healed itself. It, they don't heal, but it's 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 not hurting anymore. So you have no, that. no gel because people have told me they might shoot gel into my knee, and then they said. That, that um, orthopedics said they might do surgery. Well, J -E -L -L -O. They, they do surgery if it's it, it, uh, torn meniscus. You don't always do surgery. 
occasionally they, you, do, you do do they do, do an MRI on you or no yeah. no no, really? no. They're it's do not a, on me. They, they can't do an MRI on me because I won't get in a fucking MRI machine. I have uh, just toxic claustrophobia. But the knee, they put you in the other way, and you're not in the machine. Yeah. You weren't in the machine, uh, 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 Ch uh, Charlie? Char you worried? Yeah, I was in the machine, but I was like, like Phil said, I was in foot first, so my your head, head was outside. Your head machine. was outside. Well, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> I, I just didn't need that. Okay, they did a. Oh, thank you, thanks they, you guys and Dr. Bennett. <laughs> they did. They did an X-ray. They did an X-ray on me, and they said you got a torn meniscus. What do I do? Uh, go get a physical therapist. Didn't the Beatles or uh, uh, Apple Records or something have something to do with the MRI or the cat? It was a CAT scan. Uh, they they owned the. Not that uh, I know. Mm. Well, yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, I thought they had something to do with it. But or I, I be invested know, in it. Uh, you know, I would rather be dead than do an MRI. You know, so I got it. It is possible. What? Don't they talk you through an MRI though? If they put you in like that, like you know, all the way in. They'd have don't to put me. They would have to put me out. I could. I have claustrophobia like you wouldn't believe. Okay. I think if no one talked to me and I had to be in there like for a long time with no. Well, it's yeah, also a very it's also something. a very slow process, am I right, Charlie? An MRI, you know, yeah. it's like it takes it's about forty minutes. Yeah, yeah. So they put you in this you tube. Well, they gave me music one time. I had headphones on and got to listen to music. But the other time, though, they they because uh, I had two back things, uh, they they didn't. So I had to sit there and make up songs in my head or whatever for 40 hey, Charlie, minutes. what if you're listening to the music, you tap your foot, and then you move, and they have to put you back in for <laughs> another 40 minutes? all over right. again. You can't move during an MRI? You cannot mm -hmm. move. No, they don't like you moving during and an MRI. They don't even watch like, your I'm breathing. it does the soft tissue, right? Like, cause Well, there are, the there are things like that I've heard about called open MRIs. There were several of them in Manhattan. And those you don't get put into a tube. You sit you sit in a place, and then the thing goes around you. Or but something. those are a lot more expensive. No, they're not. They're not that more that much more expensive. They're just you know, and and insurance will pay for them. I mean, if you can't go through a traditional MRI, I mean, the downside of an MRI is it's very claustrophobic, and if people have claustrophobia, they're not going to tolerate an MRI very well. So they have to go to these uh, uh, open MRI. Uh, you know, I might have to get a, a MRI on my prostate eventually or something. You know, something. Jeffrey Epstein's not going to get an MRI. But it, you, you're going to make <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey Epstein jokes were just today. Practice, right? And then he got it right with the, uh, what was it, the bed sheet? Well, you know right. something? I, I have an interview. I'll probably play it tomorrow with Ronnie mm -hmm. or maybe the first of next week uh, uh, that I did with Ronnie. And we talked about Epstein, and she thinks that there was some some chicanery going on because she said how do you hang yourself in a cell uh, well it was a double bunk bed no so okay it, 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 so it's a double bunk bed they're not that high if you stand yeah. up you're as high as the double bunk bed yeah well if he goes limp then uh well, it, it'll... It, 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 it's, it's a it's very difficult to do that I, you know, uh, it seems as though uh, they're trying to make a connection with him and Bill Gates. They're saying that Bill Gates uh, talked to him a couple of well, times. You know what it is? The, Anybody who ever talked to Jeffrey Epstein is, is suspect on some level. And the fact is that Jeffrey Epstein was a schmoozer. He talked to everybody. Okay? He, yeah. You know, he was impressed by people in show business and people in politics, people who had power. And he schmoozed them all. And so just because he knew them doesn't mean they were raping little children, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm, no. Does, look, Bobby Slayton knew Jeffrey Epstein. That's guilt by association. Bobby right? Slayton talked to Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Now uh, Bill Gates, Bobby Slayton. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Trump. So all, because, he knew, because, he knew, because he knew Jeffrey Epstein and he stayed at his place, he must have had sex with children. You yeah. know. Did he go to the island? No. Did he fly no. on the plane? No, he didn't. He, no, he didn't do either of those things. He just was put up here in New York by him. Because uh, he liked him. He thought he, was a, he loved his comedy and he thought he was a great comic and he was a fan. 
So he would rather stay with Jeffrey Epstein, the child molester, rather than go up to your place yeah. a few blocks away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst I do is just jerk off, you know. I mean, so. Yeah. Uh, but but no, the Jeffrey Epstein was, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a, you know, I mean, he, he knew him quite well. I mean, not well, well. Apparently he didn't know him well enough because he didn't know this yeah. was going on. You know, yeah. Um, but I, I just found it. Uh, you, you know, I mean, uh, the the question is, it, it was there something else going on there? I mean, whether it was they knew he was going to try and kill himself, so they let him. You know, I mean, whatever. You know, I. Um, it was a perfect storm. I guess they moved the uh, the warden to another prison. Mm -hmm. uh, they suspended the guards uh, that uh, were supposed to check his cell, I think, every half hour and didn't. Yeah. Uh, they were sleeping. Yeah. Well, that's Child what they're saying. Child always dying that, in uh, jail. That's, prison. that's what they're saying. Well, to begin with, you know, I mean, is, is Epstein a child molester? Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Yeah. yeah. He's, that's, that's what he was convicted of. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I mean, all I know is Slayton said that he saw him with women all the time, but they were, and they were always younger women, but they weren't children, you know. Yeah. So obviously that he didn't, his exclusivity wasn't towards children. Let me put it that way. I, I think they were like 16 and 17 year olds. That's where they're, that's where they're getting them. Yeah. Uh, or uh, fourteen. Well, the, the fourteen was uh, the one. This one in, who who's been telling all the stories. Is Jufri or whatever her name is? Yeah. Uh, she she's she claims she was put on a date with Prince Andrew. Wow. Well, you know. Uh, yeah, she's looking for a payday also. Well, I don't know. No, no I, it's easy for you to say she's looking for a payday. Maybe she's looking for some. Uh, 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 Consolation. Maybe she's looking for some release from the pain that she has gone through. You know, yeah. Phil. I mean, that, that's a very sexist thing of you to say that you just assume she's out for a payday. Okay. Well, you know, she got three hundred on the table, but I guess that wasn't enough. Three hundred on the table. What do you mean? Yeah, he for the massage. He would pay three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not very funny either, Phil. It, this was. It's not this, supposed to be. That's what she was. You it, know. This was. This was child molestation. Yeah, but. Uh, You're making yeah. a child molestation joke. No, she knew what she was doing. No, and she, she didn't went know. Back no, and did it no, she for a no, long no, time. No, Phil, this Phil, was not that's a, a very, deal. that's a very sexist <laughs> attitude you're coming up with. It's, no, it's, look, it's, it's just it's shame, pretty, shame you know, on you, Phil. No, because she knew what she was doing. No, she, she didn't. Went back she was on her fourteen. She was fourteen. How did she know what she was doing? Hey, and then after I a know, while, then I, after a while, you are so. Uh, 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 put upon by this person, you know that you uh, uh, th that you find you find it difficult to get away from it. Okay, but don't don't get into that, Phil, because what you're yeah, doing you're is you're, it's a very a it's a very sexist. She is a victim, Phil. It, there she's are definitely, fourteen year olds she's that are a, married. She is a victim. There are fourteen year olds. She is a uh, victim, women that have Phil. been married. I won't hear yeah, from. Yeah, that's child abuse too. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I knew one that. Uh, wh what is it when they uh, are no longer a ward of their parents? They uh, they um, uh, emancipated. 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 She was emancipated, fourteen year old, and and uh, and she had been married. And uh, I don't care what you've heard, Phil. That's terrible. It's I didn't it's, hear. It's, I knew her. It's it, it's child molestation. It is abuse, yeah. even if it's legal. Okay, Phil, and in some yeah. states in the South, yes, a 14-year-old yeah. can get married, and it's yeah. terrible. It is yeah, just it's horrible. From Muscle Shoals, the so, one I knew. Yeah, so you ought, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Phil, for yeah. even, even even coming up with that, you know, that attitude. You know, um, there's Tony. Uh, they, Tony's on. fault. Hmm? It was Tony's fault. It was Tony's fault. Yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> Let's be honest, Phil. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, it's really terrible what happened to these, these women. And to say that, oh, well, they just put up with it. I mean, what do you think, Charlene? You're a woman. You probably agree with me with what I'm saying, right? I agree with you, Alex, yes. Yeah. But That's I mean, like saying, you know, 
some woman had a, a really really short skirt on, so she was looking to get raped. You know. When you uh, when you were fourteen, Charlene, were you active? Yeah. What do you mean, like sexually active? Yes. No, I wasn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> when I was in college, yeah. they called me um, the Virgin Mary. Ah, okay. <laughs> they were making fun of me because I was a Catholic schoolgirl, and then you know I did it with my virginity in college, but. They had lost it, you know, before, uh, I guess, before they got to college. So, so mo a lot of your girl girlfriends. Said, because you're the Virgin Mary. Uh, a lot of your girlfriends, uh, they, did they lose their virginity early? Well, I guess they lost it, like, you know, say, like, in senior year of high school or something, or, you know, yeah. junior year in high school. But yeah. I was, like, a freshman in co uh, college, and I, you know, was still... You didn't, you didn't know anybody that was a little promiscuous at 14? No, no, that was no. really young, Phil. Somebody, yeah. somebody, yes, somebody, in uh, somebody in our chat room just now said Phil lacks moral fiber. <laughs> I, yes, I had some fiber tonight, yeah. and, and, I, and I mixed it with cashew milk. <laughs> yeah, some raisin bran, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, um, it, it, it just this attitude that uh, well, she knew what she was doing. She was fourteen; she didn't know what she was doing. She That's didn't young, know that yeah. she'd taken $300 to, to give a happy ending? You know, I, 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 oh, okay, Phil. So she's the fault, right? <laughs> just just because it? legally she's, she's 14 and legally mm -hmm. she can't, uh, uh, you know, be responsible for actions. So let me ask you this. Let me ask that you she this. fell off the turnip truck. Let and, me ask uh, you this. Let me ask you yeah. this. The women who would give, um, give uh, Roger Ailes blowjobs. Uh, because uh, they didn't want to lose their job, I guess they knew what they were doing, right, Phil? Yes, and that was did. all right. That was all right. I didn't say it was all right, but they knew what they were doing. They had a choice, and they chose to get down on their knees. They chose not yeah, to. But, they chose to keep eating and and being able to put food on the table, Phil. Hey, you know, if they would have said, you don't believe, you don't believe that he, you don't believe that he was using. His position of power as yeah. a way of intimidating women into having sex with him. Absolutely. Then was. what is that right? Well, is that right? Then, yeah. No, but and, and they, 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 in spite of the tango. fact that, as you put it, they so called knew what they were doing. Yeah. You know, I mean, they made a decision. They they looked at Roger Ailes and they said, "Look at that fat pig. I think I'll go to bed with him so I can have my job." And and they made a conscious decision. No, no, they no, not that. No, 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 not, not that I guy. can have my job. I want to keep my job. Many of them just wanted to get a job, and they were looking to they, they were looking to sleep their way up in their business. You know why is it? You are so fucking sexist, Phil. This is amazing how sexist I am you are. A realist. You're not I, a realist you know, about reality. Anything. Phil, you're not no, a realist no, about shit. You just shit. want to make everybody a victim. You're not a realist about shit, Phil. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, some you're, like you're 79 years old. You didn't something. see this coming. You didn't you didn't see the train all <clears throat> these years what was going on? You didn't know about the casting couch, uh, we, and you didn't realize that Phil, they Phil, were only just there because the casting because couch, wanted, just because the casting couch existed all those years, doesn't mean it was right. Are you trying to make these people? Uh, no, I'm saying that know. any man who would do that in order to get laid is a terrible, vile human being. That's and the true. women and who, he, who and were put was. upon, the women who, were, women who were put upon were not women who knew what they were doing. But oh, were, that's bullshit. Come on, you're not that naive. Phil, I'm not mm -hmm. that naive, not at all. Well, then you should know. But I know, it, I know right from wrong, and I know, well, I, I know, I, right. I, and I know victims from predators. Uh, I didn't say it was right, but and these, these women, these are, women, these women were victims because they were, um, they were, on, they, they were put upon by a predator. Oh no, the the, the ones on the, that show to catch a predator, no. they're victims, and they're not really victims because they're cops. But uh, 
you know, trying to catch the guy. But these these people, Phil, I'm just, I'm, they're, I'm, they're I'm, nothing I'm, different I'm, than a hooker. I'm, I'm very disappointed. You know, I'm just you give a okay, hooker. Okay, okay, time to be quiet, Phil. All right, yeah, let some other people quiet, speak. What do you th What do you think, Charlie? Well, people like Phil is why I'm a fem feminist because yeah. people that think like that. Is just I don't understand it. I'm very, I'm very ashamed of Phil, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, Tony, terrible. what do you, you think? You can't pass the 14 year old test. I, I, wait, I, wait, 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 hold, hold on a second. Uh, let me, let me. Jeff was talking. Let me go to okay. him first, Tony, and then I want to get your opinion. <laughs> yeah, yes, Jeff. You can't pass the 14 year old test, no matter who the hell you are. It's inappropriate. Yeah. And and if you're a uh, immature 18 or uh, then all of a sudden you're uh, that's the line I think if a person you is think using, the, I, I, the, the I, man I think I think is any more if, mature I think if someone uses his position of power to strong yeah. harm arm a woman into having sex with him okay it's not a voluntary action it's one in which they feel that they have to do it otherwise they may lose their job or they uh, any number of things could happen to them then I, 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 do, I think at any age, even 25 or 30 or 50, is wrong. Yeah. And if you don't well, see that, Phil, you don't have any moral fiber. No, I, I, obviously I don't because you I, know, I see daughters. people that, huh? yeah, I have daughters, and they wouldn't get down on their knees to, to, to advance their careers. And one of them is in the show, in show business, and, uh, you know, I know that uh, she does it through hard work and perseverance. Mm -hmm. Do you know that she, but do you know whether she hasn't been put in that position? I don't know that. Okay. And but it, even if she was put in that position. And if you found out that she was put in that. She's not the kind of person that second. would make the decision Phil, to, Phil, number, uh, number one, to, to you, do don't, that. you don't know that because if she had done it, she wouldn't tell you. Okay, that's, uh, that's for starters. Pretty. That's for starters. And Except secondly, the jobs that secondly, she's gotten haven't you, been that if, good. If you found that it had happened, that it had happened, what what would you want to do to the guy who did it? Uh, you know, if she was of age and she made that decision, mm -hmm. uh, it it takes two. She wouldn't have been a victim. <laughs> You Phil, know, Phil, uh, Phil. now w would you disown your daughter if you found out that she had done something like that? No, why would I? You know, because uh, of the way you're talking, I just wondered. You know, no, I'm not uh, making any uh, as disper aspersions on uh, you know whether I would uh, disown or not. Uh, you know, if if I knew something like that was going on, I might I'd counsel her. And you know, and you know, tell her that it's not going to go anywhere. If you if you look at these things, the person that gets the you gives the favors do usually doesn't. To a guy that would do something like that to your daughter, you know. Well, you know, no, I, I think my my daughter is smart enough that she can make her own decisions. So your daughter's to blame in that situation that she should have. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm better. not saying it's a blame. It's not blame. She, you know, people make decisions, and if you make a bad one, you can't you can't make the other guy the, the bad guy. You, you know, everybody has a choice. Uh, we've been joined by Patrick. Um, um, you know, uh, I, I'm just saying, Phil, you know, uh, American Patriot, who's one of the people ch is on our chat room, uh, says, and this is a good question, where are the parents? You know, uh, forget about the child. She doesn't know right from wrong. Absent parents uh, giving her guidance, uh, she doesn't know. This is just an older figure who is now seducing her, okay? Um, but, if, you know, at that age, she doesn't know, she really doesn't know what's going on, for crying out loud. And where are the parents? The parents probably went along with it because Epstein was worth a fortune. Yeah. You know? Like Michael Jackson. And, and, yeah. and by the yeah. way, while they're going after everybody that was culpable, go check in on the parents and arrest them, too. Uh, you know, that would do some good. But uh, anyway, we've been joined by Patrick. But first, let me go to uh, Tony. Tony? You know, I, I tell you the truth. I would feel bad for the, the girl. I mean, 14, this guy is worth how much money? I mean, Alex, save you in a position like you're a producer or something. 
Hey, of course, you'd want to maybe want to help somebody, give them a job. But to even think like I got to seduce somebody because I have power, that's a sickness, really. I can see trying to help people get a job, give them a break. But I can never see going over the line where you got to make it personal, Phil. That's kind of – that's a predator, really. He yeah, should be well, who, who made it personal? Let me tell you something. It's not what's me, personal. Let me tell you that, something. That's, let me, let me that's tell a you, predator. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Uh, I always had a rule, and this is long before the Me Too stuff and long before even the women's movement in this country. I always had a rule that I would never have sex or ha- try to have a relationship or hit on any woman who I worked with, okay? And, and that, was a, that was a personal feeling because I felt if I had a good relationship with, with somebody and they were doing a great job for me, that would come between the, us if, if I, I even tried that, you know? You and know I what that's want, called? What? Don't dip your pen in the company ink. Yeah, well, good for you and your little funny little sayings, you know, but this isn't Well, funny. hey, that's my, my I, saying. It's I, I, been that, around for that wasn't, a that millennium. Wasn't, that wasn't my reasoning for it. My reasoning for it was, I got to tell you, I had, for instance, I had a woman who, uh, uh, Christy, was my producer in San Francisco. This was maybe the, one of the most gorgeous women you've ever seen. She still is gorgeous. Um, uh, I never, ever tried to come on to her. I mean, if I had her in the studio right now, she would say, no, you never did. And people always went, did you ever try to come, did you ever try to, you know, with her? And I go, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't think of it. Because she is a good producer. I enjoy her, I enjoy working with her, and I don't want to destroy that relationship. You know, I found that would be unconscionable. The only people that I would come on to were people who I met you know, in my course of my day that had nothing to do with my job. Groupies. Groupies? Hey, if it weren't for groupies, I never would have gotten laid, you know. But, you know. And 14 is such a young age, Alex. I mean, think about when you were 14, like a kid. I mean, that's really young. It's very young. Very young. Mentally, yeah. You know, I mean. Now, you didn't make out when you were 14. You didn't. you know, uh, but he said, no, I didn't actually I, to get the first actually, base. Actually, I didn't. I wasn't very good at that. It's, it's yeah. I think it wasn't until I was 18. I was 19 when I first had sex. OK. Yeah. And I think they murdered him anyway, Alex. How the hell does he hang himself in jail? I couldn't believe this. Well, yeah. it, it isn't a question of murder. It's just a question of how did he d- manage to do it? You know, with a bench. Where's the police guard sleeping? Yeah. That's yeah, they were apparently. Yeah. It's the story's getting bigger and bigger, and they think we're going to believe this. I actually, be, you know, Alex, I can't believe this, but I really think Trump might be right. I think he got killed. No, this is the one time I'll agree with Trump. Well, no, 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 you, no, you can't agree with Trump because people. Trump is saying that the, that the Clintons had him killed. Yeah, Clinton yeah, had this. Stuff he, 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 I couldn't believe it. I said, this guy's nuts. My mother's like, did he just say what I thought? He said Bill Clinton killed him. I said, Ma, the man's a madman. You can't even hear what he's saying. Uh, he's Hillary probably, did. You know, the, the, the no, I mean, uh, Clinton, have you wait, heard wait, the no, conspiracy hold, 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 that there's 53 people no, I'm trying to talk. that uh, were close to the Clintons that are either I'm trying dead to from talk. suicide I'm, I'm or I'm trying uh, to talk, Phil. Accidents. Phil, I'm trying to talk. Okay? Uh, well, I'll move you from a little circle to a yeah. square. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm not even a square? No. <laughs> Is that how little you think of my place in this program? I'm going to call in. Maybe you should block everybody. I, it, it just was the normal, you know, progression of squares and circles. Anyway, I mean, the, the point, in fact, is that um, um, I never, you know, I, I, I can't say that I ever had a relationship, ever. I, I did have, I had one producer who wanted to have a relationship with me. Literally came on to me, and I turned her down. You know, I that said, the one that was the transvestite. No, what transvestite? <laughs> uh, the, you had one that I. It was a, I didn't know them. Uh, it was somebody from New York, I think. That uh, John Rockwell also knew. What? Uh, and uh, you you talked to him, and uh, he was no longer a guy. He was a girl. And uh, got pissed at you for not recognizing. Oh, that his... was that was my producer. Yeah, that was um, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. 
Uh, but he, he was, huh? He was, um, he was my producer at WMCA. He wasn't so much my producer. What I found out about him was he was running a pirate radio station. Right. And, and I, I figured I wanted to support his pirate radio station, so I hired him as my producer, which then was just answering phones and, oh. you know. Um, That's what I did. Didn't, didn't book guests or anything. Ronnie did yeah. that. Uh, uh, but I... Uh, uh, you know, I I, I, I kind of like the fact that every week uh, ABC was cutting him a check, which he would then take and go oh, use to nice. do do his pirate radio station. I thought that that was just yeah. desserts. Anyway, now, now did he uh, uh, was he a transvestite well, or no, uh, no? No, he became he became a sex change. I believe. Sex change. Yeah, okay, I think so. I don't know if it was a sex change or whether it was you know cross dressing, but it was yeah. it was one of those, and he lived his rest of his life as a woman. You know, uh, he was just mad at me because I kept referring to him as him, because I always yeah. knew him as a guy. I didn't know him as a woman, and I said, so you know, you please mean? forgive me because if you were here and I got to see you like this, I would then probably call you she. But I, all I remember, my only mental image that I have of you uh, is of a, you know, uh, of a guy. Uh, but um, she uh, died a few years back, so. You know, yeah, that's the end of that story. Um, but uh, uh, no, I had a, a producer in San Francisco who came on to me. In fact, got very mad at me because I wouldn't uh, have anything to do with her that way. Because I just didn't believe in it. It's not you don't do that. Not with people you work with. And uh, hello, hello, Patrick. What do you think about all of this? Do you think that these girls knew what they were doing? Yeah. I, I would say no. I, I mean, depending on the ages of some of them, but, you know, I, I hold, I think last week I was yapping about everybody's responsible for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to minors, the adult is always the one, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a billionaire, whether it's whomever, the adult is always the one who needs to set the boundaries yep. and the rules. And, you know, you've got the teachers having sex with kids. The kids are going to be, I mean, I probably would have went for it with some of my teachers, but that's not how things go. And it's the same with Epstein uh, with, with these girls. Maybe some of the girls knew what they were doing in that, you know, I'm going to get some, uh, it's, it's fun, but you know, it, morally it, 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 it's wrong. And, and as the adult, you have to be the adult and make the rule. Whether or not, you know, you like it or, or not, that's tough shit. Phil, do you when ever, I was, Phil, Phil, when do I was Phil, do Phil, Phil, listen to me. Do you ever, do you ever read our chat that's going on? No. Oh, no. well, can I read you a couple of comments? Sure. Phil makes this show unwatchable. He is mind-numbingly <laughs> stupid. Uh, how is he any different than Doug, says somebody else. Mike Allen says, anyone that hurt a 14-year-old girl should be shot. Matt Crash says, I'm glad you're not dead, Mike. Megan Be Belknap says, mute him. Mike Allen says, uh, what, what, let's see here, there's some more here. Uh, yeah, Phil is full of it. Alex, would you please mute him? So, well, I guess you got some listeners. Yeah, <laughs> but do you realize what you what you're sounding like to them, Phil? Uh, yeah, because they're morons. But you know, oh, they're morons. Yeah. Oh, I mean, everybody I mean, in our chat room, other chats, uh, chat other room, nights? are morons. Yeah. Because they think you're full of it. They always think I'm full of it. They're at, it wouldn't matter what topic we were talking about. They would have the same comments. Matter of fact, they, 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 they have a, you know, like a, a, a deal where they just press a button and it puts that comment out, and regardless of the topic. No, they're, they're usually nice about things. No, they're not. You said you don't read them, so how do you know? Well, no, I've read them in the past, but you asked me if I was reading it tonight. And the answer was no. I'm charging my phone. So, and, uh, yeah. 
Well, calm down a little bit, Phil. You're... All right. Well, you know, when I prior to being eighteen, I knew girls in high school, and some of them were uh, uh, supposedly active. I mean, they weren't active with me, but they were. They were Phil, active. What, what age were you active? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Well, that, that's when I got lucky. I, I was trying long before that. <laughs> well, everybody tries. My, my girlfriend right. that I, well, the first woman I had sex with, succeed. the first woman I had sex with was 17, and I was 18. Okay. Uh, so technically, that was statutory rape in California at the time. Yeah, in fact, in fact it's very like strange. That. It was mm -hmm. statutory rape. If you were a guy and you were 15 and you had sex with a girl who was 16, that was statutory rape. The guy was not always... by the girl? Huh? Not no. by the girl. Not by the girl. By the... No. Right. Uh, That's sexist. Yeah. Yeah, you bet your life it is. Uh, the, um, on a couple of occasions, I have had sex with women who were underage. Uh, in one case, in both cases, because they lied to me. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't mean oh. that I couldn't have wound up going to jail. All right? right. But as soon as I found out that they were lying to me, that was it. You know, all bets were off. Um, so, um, uh, you know, I just, uh, uh, I had one, I knew one that was very, very young, it turned out to be quite young and looked like she was in her, was early twenties. Yeah. And never told me how old she was. The one that's suing Epstein, she was, she's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but there was I, a I difference believe. between and, what and happened. She it, definitely looked mature. Yeah. There was nothing predatory about what I was doing. I was simply responding to women who were coming on to me and whatever, and assuming that they were of proper age. You know, when I would ask them, are you old enough to be doing that? You know, if I was suspicious, um, they would say, of course I am. But they weren't, you know. Now, the question is, how guilty am I in that situation? Do I have to ask for identification? You know, and then they'll Let show me, me the, get the cuffs. Right. They'll show me the IDs that, uh, right. uh, that, that, that oh, they show me the ID they use to get drinks and bars, you know. So, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, how far oh, do that you need, be phony. you know, you know, but, I, but I think day, there's a difference between being duped by a woman to have sex with them who's underage. And uh, it, it, it's a different story when you're a predator and you're looking for those women and you're looking for women who are underage. You know, I moved to California when I was 19, but when I was 18 in New York, you could drink and, and you go to a bar and you had to be 21 in California. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think it was the same thing with Florida. Yeah. And uh, but the women in New York at 18 mm -hmm. were women. S wait, hold on a second. Somebody's just called us um, who is on a phone and not video. So we, we don't know who they are. Who is this? Are you there? I just want to say shout out to the person who gave me the shout out. Now you can hang up on me, Alex. Oh, okay. oh that's Doug. That's Doug. Well, why should I hang up yeah. on you, Doug? Outside of the fact that you're, you know. You usually do. Well, <laughs> uh, well, you know. I, I hope you're doing okay. Hope yeah. all's well with you and all that. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Doug. Okay, because you don't have a you okay. don't have you don't have video, so I really don't want to put you on. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Thanks, Doug. Anyway. Call back sometime Take when you care. have video. Have a good one. Okay. Well, sometimes when I get too Bye -bye. many people and we put them up there. It's uh, nice that Doug is listening. Well, let me hold on a second, <laughs> folks. You're going to see some <laughs> Skype screens there. Where, 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 how do I get rid of them? How do I? Well, get I, I just happened to start listening uh, to you. Okay. Just, hey, Doug. Doug, Doug yeah. will you please will you please yeah. hang up? Because I, I can't I can't figure out how to hang up on you. Okay, Doug. Bye -bye. Oh, I, might, I just might aggravate you a little bit more. Look, Doug, <laughs> Doug, nah, I will. Take care. I'll, I'll take care. I'll have put you on a block, and then you won't ever be, be able to call, okay? Jeez, <laughs> mighty God. He is so obnoxious. Um, anyway. I think, I think uh, his, his life has been improving, and uh, I don't think he's drinking the way he was. And he, That's you know, fine. He, you put him on your show. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks.
uh, uh, you know, we I thought we, I just did. Uh, all, all, all this, all this brings up the the inevitable question here about, for instance, the, these female teachers in Florida several years ago. They seem to almost seem to be a pack of them uh, who were seducing their students. What do you think of that? Where, where, where it was females, older females seducing guys. And the fact that everybody would make jokes about it, well, you know, they're just guys, they got laid, hey, hey, you know, they were lucky, they had a good, you know, some, of these, some of these women look gorgeous. I mean, some of these women were hot. Okay. Did they ever think that these kids would talk, you know, that a guy wouldn't say, hey, you know, I bang Mrs. blah, 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 you know? Well, and, of course uh, they would talk. In fact, I said, I said, well, what was the danger to these guys? And I said, there's a large danger to these guys <laughs> from getting their hand to hurt from all the high fives they were doing. You know. <laughs> um, yes, Patrick. Yeah, I mean, just like Phil said, it, I would say to the, the female teachers, and I mean male teachers as well, mm -hmm. uh, are morons. Because kids are going to talk, mm -hmm. and especially to guys, to other guys in a in a more public setting. Mm -hmm. Whereas my understanding with girls, and maybe I'm wrong, but they tend to speak just in their little circles in their bedroom. Hey, you know, I kiss so and so. But guys, like like you said, Alex, they're going to high five out on the fucking football field. And everybody's going to know that Mrs. So-and-so slept with me. Okay, yeah. but you want to know what I think is the reason why there's a tendency here to, um, for this to be different where guys are concerned? Uh, uh, because we're not, we're, there's, there's an element we're not talking about here, and that's penetration. Uh, penetration seems to be a little more of an officious act than penetration. You know, does that make it make sense what I'm saying? Uh, yes, Charlene. Yeah, I've heard you bring this up before, Alex, because, uh, you know, I was going to say that too, because, like, the guys, like, even though they're underage and everything, they really don't care. You know, like, uh, you know, to them it was like, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's weird that these women are in the position of being a teacher, but you know what you're saying is that, you know, a female gets penetrated, and so therefore it means more to the her, like the act of being penetrated, like or something, right? So it's more. But I mean, this woman is older, and she's teaching these boys, and I mean, it really isn't right that she's sort of taking advantage of the student, although because they're yeah. male. See, it's that's weird too, because you know it's a sex thing that because they're male. You know, you shouldn't care as much because they're underage that they're male. You know what I mean? Am I not saying it right? Or you yeah. know, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Like, but but you know, but somehow it, it didn't seem as as horrible. Uh, yeah, because uh, they're, to, they're be, boys. because they're guys, and mm -hmm. and yet if you think about it, I mean, it's really in the same wheelhouse. I mean, these women were having right. sex basically with children. Right. Know. Anybody have a comment? Using their position. Yeah. How, how old were the were the the boys. The boys were like four, 15, 16, yeah. and the women yeah. were like 35, 40, mm. you know. And one of them was really hot. I mean, yeah, I, you know, um, I, I was saying to myself, hey, how lucky was that guy to have as his first sex partner this hot <laughs> chick, you know. But that's a guy looking at the situation. You know, and, what about and, the one that had three kids and with the guy and no, that no, that, 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 get out of jail. That's no, turn out. That's turn out. They're still. Wait a minute, yeah. and, and they're still together, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Billy Falau and uh, Marion Laterna. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She wouldn't. Uh, she uh, She wouldn't stop seeing him. They would arrest her every time she would see him. They loved each other. They really, really loved each other. And in his country, there was nothing wrong with what they were doing. Like, they didn't consider it, a, a, you know, something. Yeah. In his country, it was normal. But still, know? is having sex, let's say, let's say we had the female version of Jeffrey Epstein, okay? We had the, uh, the female version of Jeffrey Epstein. Would it be all right what she, what she would be doing over what Epstein was doing? 
in this society? Would it make the news like it did? Would they look to arrest him or her like they arrested him? Um, you know? What do you think, Charlene? Yeah. I, oh, Charlie, go ahead. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie? Did you, oh, oh, well, yeah. my opinion is that, that it would be uh, wrong, but I think you're correct in that society wouldn't treat it as bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we do. Do we? Is that is that a double standard that we're dealing with here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we are. Yeah. So it's pretty. Patrick pretty has his hand up. Yes, Patrick. I think that a woman who did that but get raped over the cold by other women, mm -hmm. like I, you, and things like that. But men, like on any of the news shows, they would state that it's wrong, but you guys are right. It would not rise to the level that it would with a male. But I do believe that women would rape somebody over the coals for doing that. Um, but, you know, even if she got arrested and was convicted, I bet it would, it would be enough. Yeah. Well, here's, the, you know, the question is, and, and, and we have to ask this question on a rather continual basis here, is if the woman were doing exactly what Jeffrey Epstein was doing, you know, recruiting guys and so on and so forth, would we put as much emphasis on it being terrible as we do on this particular situation? Hmm? Well, here's a, that's a good question. You know what I think, Alex? Would it be as big a story if he wasn't a billionaire? Well, I, I, I think, I think, I think the money has something to do with it, you know. There's something this guy, well, like they said, they said that he had so much, and this is what the news was saying, it's almost like they're saying he might have had so much information on people or he's involved with people. You could just throw a dog who might want this guy killed, who might not want him to talk or reach trial. Well, that could be. But, you know, I mean, I think uh, it, it, it um, uh, I, you know, it, it, I know there's a good reason to be suspicious in this whole thing. There's also a good reason to assume that the guy somehow managed to commit suicide. I mean, that's always a distinct possibility. I don't know about you, but if I were Jeffrey Epstein and I was looking at never seeing the outside of a jail cell again in my life and having to live behind bars uh, for the rest of my life after knowing a certain kind of privilege, freedom that I had had for all those years, uh, I don't know that... Um, uh, I wouldn't kill myself as well. You know, what, what, what's the, what's, what's the uh, positive value of staying in jail, you know? Y yes, uh, uh, Charlene. I heard uh, some guy on uh, some radio show was talking about that in that facility that Epstein was in, mm -hmm. you get like a bologna sandwich with a packet of mustard every day and like maybe a cup of uh, Kool-Aid or something. Oh, like nice. horrible food and you know like uh it was just a horrible place this guy had been in there like mm. and he said it was just a horrible place to be incarcerated you know you know you so, know what gets uh, me what, what's interesting is that you treat somebody that way you know mm -hmm. they stick them in a jail cell and they mm. clap them in irons and they give them a bologna sandwich for lunch and he isn't guilty of anything he's just been mm -hmm. accused Mm -hmm. Right. And the question is, do we treat people who are accused this way? Is that right? Mm -hmm. I've heard they're going to change the conditions, too. I read in the newspaper or something, you know, yeah. that they're going to change the conditions there now, like after mm -hmm. this. Bobby Slayton sent me a picture of the Three Stooges in police outfits, and <laughs> the <laughs> caption on it was something <laughs> like, okay, which one of you guys didn't check on, on, on uh, uh, Epstein? Um, it, 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 I know it brings about a lot of suspicion, you know. It does. But for the president of the United States to exacerbate it by sending out retweeting tweets about no. the Clintons trying to kill mm. uh, Jeffrey Epstein is just, you know, it, 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 he's really gotten to a point of tastelessness that is unreproachable. I know. You know. 
Uh, He's like the guy in the corner yelling conspiracy theory. He's our president. It's like one of those nuts in front of the post office. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like even, even like, Scaramucci they have these guys there that believe in the conspiracy with the numbers. Scaramucci uh, yesterday and today uh, came out on CNN saying that uh, Trump is melting down, that he's uh, making racist statements, and I guess uh, yeah. Well, you know, Scaramucci has a lot of credibility. Well, but, actually, uh, he does. It's strange about Scaramucci. In in recent years, he, even though up until recently he's been pro-Trump, okay, um, uh, Scaramucci uh, has been on all the major talk shows and uh, is considered a major commentator on, on things politic. And I guess because he is kind of entertaining in his own I way. I think they... They think that there's uh, he, he sees a, a weakness in their armor, and he thinks that Chris Cuomo will get fired, and maybe he'll oh get his spot. Chris that? Cuomo ain't getting he fired for that. No. Okay, he went nuts. He wanted to throw a guy down because the, the guy stairs. was calling. The guy was calling him a Fredo, which in in oh in, that's, that's uh, terrible. Wait a minute. That's the wait a minute. Oh, in Italian. Yeah, well, there you go, being unsensitive again. The, in, among oh, yeah. Italians, yeah, among Italians, yeah. Fredo uh, being a Fredo. Is a bad, nasty term. Why? Uh, uh, Fredo was a character. No, in the no, Godfather. it was a term. He I think the, he was the I, near I do well I, younger brother. I think brother. it is a term that's been used before that. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, but it's a it's a negative term. Tony's Italian. But in oh, any no, event, no, it's no, a Fredo. negative <laughs> term, and Cuomo <laughs> took him to task for it as well. He should have. If the guy had come uh, up and called like me, that, he's going to throw uh, him down uh, the stairs. If, if, yeah. if he had called me, you know, if somebody called me a kike, they would have had the same problem. You you would have thrown him down the stairs for somebody saying a word. Did Cuomo throw him down the stairs? He threatened, he threatened him. No, he threatened you. He, he didn't throw him down the stairs. Well, if, if it got a little more physical, I think he was know. upset by it and he wanted to tell the guy to back off because the guy was looking. He was spoiling I mean, for a fight. Look for Trump. It sounded to me like Cuomo he, was... Uh, no, he, uh, did you see it? He was provoking him. He was provoking Cuomo on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That's what well, those, does, that's doesn't what Cuomo have the right do. to stand up for himself? No. Not in New York. Those cops couldn't stand up for themselves. They got well, first of all, first of all, Cuomo wasn't on the air when this was going on. Somebody no. was was videotaping it with a camera. Okay. Uh, and, and it wasn't for the record. No, well, Scaramucci wants his job. No, he. How do you know he wants his job? Has he said that? Alex. No. All right, then me. shut up, Phil. He says Alex isn't going to go for it, so I might as well go. The mooch. Oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, announced I, Trump. You know. You know. Two not, weeks ago, he loved Trump. Now all of a sudden Trump's a bad guy. Because I think he finally has figured that it's just he's gone he's gone off the deep end, which he has. Yeah, he's just come to that conclusion. All right. Well, I'm saying that you know I'm I'm sure he was sticking with him as long as he felt he could, but it's getting to a point where he just can't defend that kind of behavior. Look what I got for you, Alex. What? Uh, You know, for your underage participation. (laughs) <laughs> you got the end cuffs. <laughs> Book him, you know. Get him against the wall. What, they did away with the chain between the cuffs? The Epstein, no, this, this, is, this is the heavy-duty one with the uh, the bicycle link between the two. You get some of these guys that you, you have to arrest, and they're like six foot ten, 700 pounds, and mm-hmm. they, you know, they look at those ones with the chain, and they break them in half. Well, I think, I think, I think the handcuff is, uh, yes, yes uh, uh, Patrick. Um, how could what Chris Cuomo did, which I agree he should have gotten back in the guy's face, mm-hmm. how is that any different than some of these people in public getting in the face of our representatives or uh, members of the White House uh, when it was Sarah Sanders and they're talking shit? You know, I mean, if Sarah Sanders would have went off on the people talking shit to her, I can imagine the bullshit that would have been even on this panel saying that she should have never said anything that it was wrong. And, you know, I mean, hey, if somebody's talking shit to you, regardless of who you are, mm-hmm. you should have 
how to defend yourself. No, uh, talking shit, and uh, you know, Sarah Sanders walked away. She just got up and she left. She paid her bill and she left. That's yeah. the way you handle that. Right, but here's the thing. I didn't mind that Cuomo got back at the guy. What I have a problem with is him whining that it was some slur. I mean, everything's a fucking slur nowadays. Yeah. How about he just got in my face and I told him to get the fuck out of my face? Patrick, your name starts with a P. I think that's a slur. Right, exactly. <laughs> and you know what? Get the fuck out of So, you know. I don't see how being called a Fredo is something you're going to threaten to throw somebody down the stairs. You know, it's definitely look, 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 look at the shit that they call me on the chat. I don't give a definitely fuck. I'm not going to give them the, 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 the time of day. Yeah, because they because they they, they might say something that's important to you. Uh, oh, well, let me let me let me read you. Let me let me, let me let me read you what <laughs> Candace Higgins just wrote me. And Candace uh, uh, writes me a lot. And she wrote, thank you for going for Phil's jugular. I didn't realize, okay, uh, 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 until tonight's show how morally compromised he is. Everything that went wrong in the facility leads one to question how so many failures can occur with their primary occupant over the course of two weeks. The youngsters who were brought into the setup were kids who were virtually on their own. Parents had kicked them out, etc. The promise of a few hundred bucks to give a massage must have sounded like paradise. I hate all this for the now uh, for, the, for the now women who won't see uh, the very sick Epstein squirm in a courtroom. Uh, glad you're back. Uh, you know, I, I think that's, uh, that's uh, you know. That's it, true. I wish he would have lived. I wanted to see what would have happened. Well, we, of know? course, we all would have liked to have seen him live and, and squirm and cheated. so on. But on the other hand, when I heard he was dead, I didn't sit around and mourn his death like some people are doing, you know, because we can't get him now. Well, uh, did he give up a bunch of information on on uh, co uh, on people that uh, he was implicating? Uh, and the day before, he was supposed to give up information. No, now all of a sudden, no, he winds up dead. No, no, no. Maybe he was going to. You know, I mean, he was probably going to sell everybody well, down the, there, there, down the there, river. There was no no reason for him to, because no matter how much information he gave them, they wouldn't go any lighter on him. They couldn't. No. In the court of public opinion. So there was no benefit to him turning people in. All right? Except to fuck them up. Now, you might find that a lot of other people's lives might be in danger, like this woman in England who knows a lot about this and probably would be willing to give it up to, for immunity. All right? So I, if I were the government, I'd be out protecting her right now. When she was younger, she gave it up to Epstein. We're not making jokes here, so I'm sorry. You know, uh, the fact is that that uh, uh, that that she probably could give up a lot of information about people. Uh, now, you know, anybody that had anything to do with Epstein is suddenly suspect. Uh, the latest is Prince Andrew, although this woman, uh, I can't remember her name now, though it starts with a G. Uh, Giselle, Giselle. Juicy or something, something like that. I, I, but anyway, she said that she was set up with Prince Andrew, you know, and uh, well, she was English, right? And she no, was, she uh, I don't think, no, she wasn't English. I think oh oh, that was the young girl. The young girl, yeah, yeah, that's right. And, uh, and, who was and, the, uh, and the? Of course, the Prince Andrew is denying it. What? The socialite from England that uh, was his. Uh, uh, I can't remember her name, but she's. She's the woman who supposedly was setting up all these women to with other right. guys and things like and that. She, and she was the one that. And uh, she's dated. she's she's the one that I would if I were uh, the police, I put her in protective custody or in some kind of custody where nobody could get at her because I don't think her life's worth a plug nickel right now because uh, you know Jeffrey Epstein was setting up these these girls with. Very connected people. 
all right? Oh, it's and, like Heidi Slice. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, very connected people. And uh, I think that uh, they would not want their names to be made known no. at this point. I was under the understanding that they that Epstein was either making their names known or was going to make their names known. Well, n not that I heard of. And what would the how would it benefit him? Would they go lighter on him? I don't think so. Yes, Charlene. Uh, is this the end of it now? Like, are these people safe? These famous people? Like, since he, you know, this well, ended, I mean, like unless unless this woman in England who probably knows all the names. Oh, she gets wants to cut a deal right. for herself and and names names. Now it would be but Alex, huh? They they went lighter on Epstein in the Florida prosecution. Yes. Uh and you know, maybe it was because they wanted him to keep his mouth shut. And uh, you know, look, look, uh, we're we're putting we're putting a lot of uh, of uh, science fiction babies, yeah. science fiction into this. We don't know what went on. We don't know that somehow he was just talented enough that he could hang himself from a low-lying bunk bed, you know? Uh, we don't know that. We know that there were sheets and things in that room so that he could have strangled himself, yeah. but And the know, no camera and all the things. He, he was taken off suicide well, it, watch. It, look, what, what need, the questions that need to be asked is why was he taken off suicide watch? If, in fact, he had tried to commit suicide once... You don't take a guy off suicide watch. Well, he hasn't tried in two weeks. Let's. Uh, uh, it seems like he's no risk. They said the protocol was two weeks. Uh, I was listening to. Uh, I was listening to some something that they were talking about. That uh, some cop from New York was saying that the protocol for a suicide watch is two weeks, and then you take them off. Well, the, the, that's, uh, that may be the protocol with the police, New York Police Department, but this wasn't the New York Police. Well. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the M M M U or something like that. Wh whatever that facility was that he was in. He was in a federal facility, and it's run by the Justice Department. So thanks, Bill right. Barr, for doing your job. Oh, so okay. Well, he he saved the everybody a lot of money on the prosecution. I <laughs> see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Way of at it. But let's mm -hmm. change topic here because this this upsets me, Phil. That you can be so morally bereft that you can come up with the attitude that you did tonight about women. Anyway, um, we uh, we have. I think we're running into financial problems in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, Phil. It's only just a couple. It's a bad days. It, no, it's a couple of. It's a bad year. It it was uh, that uh, inverted. Uh, a thing where the bond, the ten-year yield was was higher, was lower than the uh, two-year yield. Forget about that. And it, that it, was it, an it, indication the, 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 that in a couple of years there may be a recession. No, not in a couple uh, of years. It's very, happened very, seven times. Very soon. There's no, going no, to be no. A they, recession. they said two to three. Years. Anyway, they're very worried about a recession. If a recession comes, that means that a lot of people are going to wind up out of work because people won't be able to afford to hire people. And then all these little braggadocio things that Trump is doing about the economy, he's not going to be able to make when he runs for president because everybody's going to say, fuck you, you know. Uh, what, what if he wins his, uh, his war with China? He's not going to win it. He's not going to win it. They're going to wait him out. They said that they're not willing to make any kind of deal now, now at this point because of the way they've been treated. They're not willing to make any kind of a deal now until the next election is over with. Well, they got their hands full right now well, uh, the, with Hong Kong. Well, they, they, they got their hands full in Hong Kong. They don't have their hands full in China. You know that their economy is the lowest it's been since 1992 in China? Well, the, and, 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 and the recession, they're saying, is due to what's happening in the rest of the world, not the United the States. The fact is that China is still a country that does very well. It will continue to do very well. And in many ways, is still doing better than the United States is. We have farmers in this country now who are starving, uh, who are finally getting some money for their, for their problems, but they're sitting there with soybeans that are rotting. Okay? That's your president and his great negotiating power. Well, I, I did my part today. I had tofu and eggplant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, at a vegetarian restaurant. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, so the I'm fact, doing my part. The, the fact is farms. that you've got a guy here who knows nothing about business, trying to act like he knows about business, and that hey, you know something? He, I, do you remember this statement? 
uh, trade wars are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. For who? Well, you know, it's about time somebody stood up to China and uh, their uh, yeah, bad yeah, ways. Yeah, it's about time somebody stood up to China. Unfortunately, it isn't Trump, because just yesterday he started caving. No, he didn't. Yes, he, just he did. didn't want to ruin our Christmas. Oh, I see. So he. I thought he, tariffs were good. Why would they ruin our Christmas? Well, the tariffs are good, but the timing of them is also important. Oh, I see. But no, this is a guy who never sticks to his guns. He just caves on everything. There's plenty of tariffs out there right now. He caves on everything, Phil. And, and this it, was only one of the things he was caving on. The fact is the Chinese know that he's not serious about this. And, um, you know, uh, it, it doesn't mean that they have to go ahead and, you know, they can't. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Let me, I, I've got Ray Renati calling here. Let me get him in in the number seven position. From the let gym. Me, let me see Hello. here. I'll turn off my sound so you don't have to hear uh, the noise. Uh, okay. Reporting from the gym. Wait from the gym, just so you know. Where is, look at him. You can't see me very well. Oh, there's Goombad 61. The more names I Hello. get here, the harder it is for me to suddenly decide what the... Uh, uh, Can you what, rename those there names? There we go. There we go. Okay. I can't. I tried to change the no, name. No, not, not Ray, not you. Uh, Alex. Can he rename them? No, I can't them. rename them. No. I, just, I just have gotten to know them now. It's just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pop in my head there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's yeah. the way you sign up, you know, that Skype makes you yeah. come up with one of these no, you kinds can, no, of No, you things. can change your name on there. Yeah, well, there's only a couple of Alex Bennett's, but there's no, uh, you, you can know, tons change of your Myers. name that is on there when you when people call. You can go right in. Uh, uh, can you go you go up to your preferences, and in your preferences you will be able to change your name. You can change it in an instant, right, Patrick? Because Patrick knows that. Because he's done it from time Skype to time, right, name. Patrick? I, ch I couldn't change my Skype name. I no, only, I can't change it. I can only change my nickname. Yeah, you change the nickname, and that's the name that comes Where's up. the nickname? Oh, no, I put my name as a nickname. Yeah. I thought. Your yeah. account. Manage your payments and subscriptions. Yeah. I'll try it again later. How you are seen on Skype, your profile. Yeah, huh. how you're okay. seen on Skype. You can change your oh, name. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, cool. I, I don't know. I went to that. I'll try that. Yeah, well, don't do it now, Phil. We're doing a show. Is the not sound right. is the sound annoying here? No, it's not annoying, but we can only see the okay. very top of your head. I know. I'm trying to hear. Sorry. Anyway. Don't I'm they get mad when you when you do that at the uh, gym? Uh, uh, one guy does, but if he's not around, no one cares. Oh yeah, the lady next to me is getting mad. But... She's getting mad at you. Well, yeah. you could be talking to your wife, couldn't you? They, they, I don't know. People are weird. What if they talk to each other? I don't understand. Yeah, people are weird. Mm. Makes no sense. Yeah. No, I can't do yeah. anything. Uh, look, Phil, do that later, not now. All right. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, what do you think, Ray, about the economy and about uh, this uh, bad patch well, we're having? Well, I, I heard that there are all kinds of indicators that we're going to have a recession within the next year or so. Um, Two to three. Yeah. Two to th well, at the out at the outset. I mean, that's sometimes it's two, three. Sometimes that, it's right that's, away. That's the way it's been for the last six or seven. When that bell up bell curve went upside yeah. down. Oh, okay, okay. And so uh, that uh, the indicator. There are other ones that are uh, like our our debt is higher than ever. Uh, yeah, but they're saying that the pressure is coming from foreign uh, economies, not from ours. It doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't, Germany, it doesn't matter, Germany Phil. And China. Here, here is a man who is going to run, hopes to run on saying, oh, the economy is great. And if by that time it isn't, what's he going to run on, Phil? Uh, well, well, I think it will be great at that time. Now, uh, I, I was in an economics class. Listen, in Denver. I hope it is, Phil, because I, you know, uh, I don't want to spend the rest of my life in poverty. Okay. But it I mean, looks the other like thing, what? Yeah, sorry. What are you going to say? Well, the other thing is, is that um, it, it, when I studied economics in college, if I remember correctly, whenever we had a, a, a trade war and used tariffs, I don't think it's ever worked. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, I don't believe it's ever worked in our favor in the long run. Well, yeah. the tariffs aren't against the country that you're 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 uh, imposing. It hurts us. 
it hurts the uh, consumer. And right. and it's just an and, and he thing. in the beginning he was saying no it doesn't hurt the consumer but what wait, is that what they taught you uh, at Wharton for Christ's sake what is it the Wharton yeah. School of Broadcasting you went to <laughs> he they, these companies that have went to China and brought jobs and and had jobs in China are now moving to other countries as well as back to the United States which is hurting China. China is being hurt by the tariffs. Phil, uh, their economy Phil, has Phil, slowed Phil, down. I intimately but knows a little bit about the Chinese, and I got to tell you, even at their worst, they're going to be doing okay. They have yeah. a very they have a there's a lot of money there. If, if you you've never been to Beijing, yeah. but if you ever go to Beijing, God Almighty, what has happened to that town in the last ten years? And, and the kind of in, in, influx of money into that town is unimaginable. Beijing makes New York City look like a backwater, okay? Except we can breathe the air in New York, can't we? Well, you? it's been oh, very difficult. So, Alex, yeah, the other thing is, is but that, that a lot doesn't of people in Beijing have relatives in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and um, they, they trade stocks in Taiwan through their relatives. Um, they have all kinds of ways of making money there. That you don't even, no one even understands. A lot of most people don't understand. Yeah, my my yeah. my wife works for the biggest bank in China, Citic Capital. There you go. And this is Citic Capital Partners, which is a uh, a trading company that they have, in which they go out and buy up companies and so on and so forth. And um, uh, they're doing very well. They are not hurting at all. All right. So it, it, the economy may be having a slight a downturn in China, but all economies do. They have their ups and downs. China can wait, can wait us out. OK, they've got the money, they've got the willpower and they've got the power itself to wait us out. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're waiting for the next election before they come to terms with any of this. But all of these things put uh, Xiao Ping in a very difficult position. Uh, not only he's got another nail in the coffin, which is Hong Kong and what's going on Phil, there. Phil, he's got, Phil, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's got the downturn in is the his economy. name Xiao Ping. I don't think it is. These, huh? I don't think it's Xiao Ping. Yeah, I, I think, think that's it's Ping. It is. XI. No, Xiao Ping. Xiaoping. Yeah. Not Deng Xiaoping. You're thinking of Deng Xiaoping. No, I didn't say Deng Xiaoping. No. Anyway, the point is... <laughs> Number two. <laughs> that, he, um, um, uh, that he has no problems. You know why? Because he's a president for life. That's correct. <laughs> okay. So, you know, it, it's a little... You really don't worry about your job security when your title is president for life. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, and like he he uh, knows he knows that Trump's going to come and go, and the next guy after him is going to come and go, and the guy after him is going to come and go, and he's still going to be the president of China. Well, we we already know that Biden got in, into bed with the Chinese and the Russians, the Ukrainians. So why you know how, why, how do you get how do you get into bed with just, how do you get into bed with them? Uh, there was uh, there was a multi million dollar deal with his son. And uh, that uh, while he was uh, vice president. Oh, and so and he was in bed with them because his son was doing business with him. Yeah. I see. Okay. I like your thinking. Uh, how so. did his son it's get logical, that deal? It's logical thinking, and I'm sorry I don't think that way. Actually, I'm not sorry I think that way. Uh, well, it just means you just don't think. Yeah. You, you're watching a little too much Fox or Newsmax or whatever to get your talking points because a lot of people write me and they say oh i heard that on fox or i heard that on newsmax or i heard oh, that should... i read that on drudge the thing that phil said last night yeah well you that's where you get the the, the honest news <laughs> you know if you listen to don lemon you know what you, got you me you know what got me today i watched yeah, all these newscasts i watched msnbc i watched fox i watched cn uh, cnn <laughs> And then I watched BBC. Do you know what their number one story was, their lead story was on, C on, on BBC? Prince Andrew slept no, with uh, no, that girl? No, Do you know that there's a big breakout of hostilities between Pakistan and India? Yes. 
Well, you uh, didn't see it on over it. Kashmir. You didn't see them in any of these newscasts. I didn't see them. On yes, any. I did. I didn't see <laughs> it on any newscast today. On on Fox, they interviewed the Pakistani uh, prime well, minister. Good for Fox. And they also good for inter- Fox. But I, all I'm saying is, in watching these, I did not see that story mentioned once. I could they watch like, a whole hour do- of MSNBC and not see that story. Of course not. They had dueling interviews on Fox with uh, the Indian, uh, 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 the yeah. UN representative from India, and yeah. Pakistani Prime Minister. Yeah. Yes, uh, Charlene. I saw on my phone uh, around eight o'clock or something in Philadelphia there were cops shot, five cops or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a drug bust. It gone bad. Is that uh, a they, big story? Or? They, well, yeah. Uh, they, no, it wasn't a they, drug bust gone bad, Phil. It was a guy who they they were going to arrest. Right. They, they went to his house. A warrant, they were serving warrant. a warrant. It, no, but yeah. it wasn't a drug bust that went bad. It was yeah, they were a, serving, it, No, it was a, a warrant, warrant for the arrest of this guy, and the guys started shooting. So. Yeah, it Is it over with warrant. yet? I don't know. I haven't, haven't checked. Uh, they got all the cops out of there. There were two of them that were trapped on one of the upper floors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think that the guy who was doing the shooting has been arrested yet, or at least he hadn't been arrested by the time the show started. Wow, he's been, then he's been lasting a long time. I I, I imagine I would have gotten something on my watch if they had caught him. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So the cops are, uh, the ones that were wounded are uh, not in critical condition. Uh, the two that were trapped have been uh, rescued. Okay, good, good. And the head guy was an hour ago. Alex? Yeah. I have a tripod. Is it any better tonight? Oh, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good idea. If you're going to use your cell phone, that's the best way to do it. Yes, uh, Ray? Have you talked about how Trump is saying that uh, Bill Clinton is responsible for the murder of... Uh, yeah, we yeah, 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 mentioned that. that. Yeah. Uh, don't you find that laughable? Well, to begin with, I have to give the president a certain skating on this, only to this extent, that he was retweeting somebody else's tweet on that. Yeah, but, but, but if the he fa- retweets it, he specific, he's, that is as good as saying it. Yeah. I believe oh, I would agree. retweet it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was a comedian or something. And I, he said the comedian I, is a great Republican pundit and all this crap. You know, I don't, I don't see that that is, uh, that's in the realm of possibility. You yeah, know? no, that's, but it's just insanity. You know, yeah. and, he, and he defends it and doubles down on even, it. Even, even Sean Hannity, I think, went on the air to say Trump was wrong for putting that tweet out. Oh, good. You know, right. cool. I don't think anybody should retweet anything. If it's not original information... Then you shouldn't retweet it. Well, you know, I always like hate it when people picture. on my Facebook page decide they're going to put some witty little cartoon they found. You know, well, f- you know, it, it's it's oh. still stealing internet uh, or, or uh, intellectual if, well, property. Well, no, no, forget about it's that part not. of it. When I put up something and and then people want to make comments, I don't mind if they make comments. But if their comment is some cartoon they found somewhere else, you know, fuck you. I want some oh. originality and your own thoughts coming across. And so I, I do, uh, and it's a pain in the ass for me because I have to kind of monitor that and, and kill stuff when I don't uh, when I don't like yeah. it, you know. So. Well, I, I Tony sends me Muppet pictures. I how, how do you kill a Muppet? Uh, uh, how do you kill How do you kill Tony? I think is the question. <laughs> how do you kill Tony? Yeah, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> But I've anyway. told him that I'd kill him a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I think he's got guns. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. I think I'll start rolling the theme. What do we say we do that? Hey, listen, Jeff, you've been a little quiet tonight, Jeff, but we love yeah, having you here anyway because you take up a square, uh, <laughs> which I appreciate. Okay? I he's, want... he's only a circle in my hand. Yeah. Phil, I'm ashamed of you tonight. <laughs> That's true. Oh, thank you. I really am. I mean, I if think, I embarrass you, tell your friends. You yeah. Know? Well, I, you know, I just, I didn't, I, I will denounce you three times, much okay. like Judas. Uh, <laughs> yes. Charlene, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Charlie, always wonderful having you on the program. Uh, Tony, good to have you here. Patrick, my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Uh, and of course, Ray. Uh, what I'm, I think would be a good idea if it's all of you that gave a big wave goodbye and I'll wave bye bye back. There we go. And there goes our citizen panel. Let me hang up on them here so I can 
make the Skype lines available for Jack Bishop and the intersection, which is next over most of the same station. Uh, good having you here tonight, everybody. Uh, and uh, tomorrow night, uh, we'll be on right after uh, Damian Chaplin does the exchange. Uh, he'll be here. Uh, and uh, I'll be here at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. You know, I'm, I'm actually running, I'm, I may be handing this over to Jack early. Uh, well, what the hell? That's, that's good too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks everybody. I'll be back here tomorrow night. 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye bye.